Oh, uh, what's going on, guys? We are back with some more MLB Show 22 franchise mode with your Chicago Cubs. And in this episode, we'll be having the year number six World Series. Yeah, just to see who won. Yeah, our starting pitching has been great, except uh, it's really for like just like John Means. Means kind of struggled in the series. Or means not just in the series, but in the playoffs in general. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Cleveland Guardians, Chicago Cubs. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Here's Brian Rocchio. Months it's happened, and that, that ball goes is foul. foul. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. That ball swung on him. That's for two. All game, if guys will chase it, that's just too much velocity. Got him. He's got to look down in the zone. Got it. Then there's one down. George Valera digs in now. Well, I think that was just a case of a hitter quitting on a pitch. He was looking fastball and didn't see it out of the hand and just left the bat on his shoulder. That was a changeup right over the plate. Ball's Probably not the location away. he was looking for, but the change of speeds is what fooled him. And he got the out. Got him. up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Gets the out. Two down after the strikeout. Two outs. Base is empty. Cattel Marte up to the plate. Tracks his bat. Marte. They get the out on Marte. And that will fly out back to the pitcher. Or pop up back to the pitcher. We go to the bottom of the first. And today. Top of the second. Here's a big power threat. Jose Ramirez. Not bad name with Jose Ramirez. And the first offering is not close. And that pitch is actually behind him. And he hits a ground ball that right ball side. Foul. And it goes just foul. A 1-1. One, one. That misses the zone. Now two balls and a strike. Strike two. Strike two. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Left hand batter no, wins. Pitch for Anderson is inside. Three two. Bobby Bradley will be on deck. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Just follow away. Uh, pitch. Got looking. And there's one away. Really good battle right there. That final pitch probably could have gone either way. He's hoping he gets ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. And now it's Bobby Bradley. I bet it won't be Bobby Bradley. In there, and it's 0 1. He takes a strike. Outside corner. Next offering is fouled back. Second inning here, no score. Out that ball swung in the air. Hassel on the move. Hassel's there. Two away. Two down. Here's Joe Adele. That'll be Joe Adele. 
second here. That's in there for strike one. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. The pitch is all the way by Joe now. <coughs> the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And that ball swan hitting deep, and that ball's up, and that ball is gone. That pitch was intended to stay inside, but it leaked. And we're tied at one. We have the better team for Nautilus. And a two run shot by Cattell Marte. And another two run shot in that. Your attention, please. Now, and a grand slam for Doug if you give the Cubs the lead. And I love a home out for Tacitus. And this has been just a disastrous inning for Cleveland. Uh, yeah, let's go with Jero, who has been lights out on this one. Game one. To a good one. You got a lot of game when you get 13 runs on the board. A lot of offense, but it doesn't end in a blowout. Tons of really good at bats to look back on in this one. So, Chris, here's a look at the final numbers from what turned out to be a really close ball game. Yeah, this is one of those games that. And the Cubs win five or six to five. Easily in there since first start so far. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Inside the Show, your source for all posts. Let's play ball. And a double gets them up. Ball four, take now three, ball. nothing after one. Three. 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 Take your base, ball four. <coughs> And a vintage John Means performance so far. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Cleveland. Three. Number 24, Tristan Three. McKenzie. Three. Take your base, ball four. Eight solid innings. Three. Three. And John Means pitches the complete game shutout. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. As the series goes to Cleveland. Welcome to the show, baseball fans. Here's what's going on in the baseball world on this October morning. Play ball. And a solo Three. shot for Tacitus. Three. Three. Ball four. Take your base. And it's one one. Take your base, ball four. He stays. Ball four, take your base. Ball four, take your base. Three. And a solo shot for Cattell Marte. Three. Three. Giving the Indians a two one lead. Three. 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 Four, take your base. And it's 3-1 Cleveland. Three. Take 
Take your base, cross four. Heat save. Three. Class A and <sighs> Cleveland takes game number three. Inside the show. Here's your host, Justin. Well, we are confident going into game three. Well, baseball we have Josiah Gray on the mound. October morning. Here's what's going on around the league as the postseason rolls on. Let's play ball. Three. And Gatel Marte goes deep. Three. Ball four. Take your base. And base is loaded. Sack bunt. One run scores. And a grand slam for Cassius. Three. And a quality start. Three, three. And the Cubs take game three. I mean game four. Inside the show with your host, Justin Allegri. <coughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Inside the Show, your source for all postseason news. Here's a recap of yesterday's playoff. Play ball. And the Guardians facing the nation. Three. Three. Ball four. Take your base. And a solo shot for Cassius Three. gives the Cubs a one nothing lead. Ball four. Take your base. Take your base. Ball four. Three. And he gets out of it. Only starting in the one run. And a solo shot for Jose Ramirez. First base. And a solo shot for Hap. Double for Christian Hernandez. Double four. I don't know how that even came in double four. Three. Ball four. Take your base. And the Guardians live to fight Inside another day. Show with your host, Justin Allegri. Welcome to the show, baseball fans. Here's what's going on in the baseball world on this October morning. In Game 5 of the World Series, the Cleveland Guardians nabbed the win against the visiting Cubs 3-2. They now trailed the series two games to three heading into Game 6. And that's all for today's show. See you back here tomorrow for another... Let's play ball! Three! Three! And a triple. Three! And a two-run shot for Hap. And Robles Three. responds in the next inning. Ball four, take your base. And ta we're Ta, Nini, and I mean Guardians take the lead. Take your base, ball four. Ball four, take your base. Three. Ball four, take your base. And it take looks base, like. Ball four. He say three. And it looks like it's going to go seven. Inside the show, here's your host, Justin Allegri. Welcome to the show, everyone. Thanks for making us a part of your morning. Let's jump. Play ball. Three. Three. 
Full force. Take your base. Three. Three. Dolph and Dolph first they have Suzuki. And a two nothing lead for Chicago. Five Three. nothing lead for Chicago. Three. Three. Take your base, ball four. And a three run shot for Seiya Suzuki. Three. 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 Ball four. Take your base. Yes, we're going to enter the game. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. Thanks for joining us. We're in the seventh with nobody out. Jimenez in the box again. Oh. Takes a strike. Reyes, a very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch, and for a hitter, Sometimes a victory and that pitch is on the off one of his pitches. And the third on is in time. Lead off hitter set down to open the seventh. Oh, Aristides Aquino now. Aristides Aquino. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, you can pretty much forget about it. Swing and a miss. Lead leader in saves for this season. With 52. The pitch. Swing and miss. Strikes. And two away to start the seven. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out three times of the game. I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach. Figure out how they're the feeding pitch. him. Make this adjustment. Really Swan hitting the air center field. Hanzel's there. Makes the catch, and that'll do it. Guardians go down one, two, three. They're down seven. It's nine, two. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the catcher, Tyler Soderstrom. Leading off for the Cubs. The pitch. The catcher, Tyler. And that that ball's fall away. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that you know somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, that ball's swan hit in the air. Something bad happens because outside of that, stuff is just too good to fail. And puts the squeeze on that one. One away. And the batter will be no the shortstop, Christian Hernandez, for the fourth Chris time here. tonight. This one the in the air center field. Are Robles. Not really blues. But brushed in the air center field. And the ball will be caught by Hanzo Robles. And he's got deception in his delivery. And it's not that he's trying to deceive the hitters. He just has this natural flow that makes it hard for hitters to pick the ball up. It gets on them a little bit quicker than they and That ball is into the. They know what the velocity numbers are. And that ball will be caught racing over to make catch. by Adele. Down quietly. Ready to begin the eighth. Now it's the shortstop, Brian Rocchio. First pitch, just First misses. pitch is inside. Next off one is in for a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity away. to get ahead early in the count. He did right there. The pitch is fall away again. Side gets out of the way. Two two. The two two pitch. Swing and a miss. miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. And now it's Victor Robles up to him. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Next offering is in for a strike.
Swing and a miss. And he got him. Back to back strikeouts. Two outs, base is empty. Cattell Marte digs in for the Guardians. That one's in there. Old hey, it takes a strike. Well, that can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but two more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. The ball is through for a base hit. And that extends the inning. And at first, here's Jose Ramirez. Ramirez. He has, as they Ramirez. like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing. And thunder in that back. Next off, ball misses. Outside. One ball, one strike. One, one pitch. Next off, bring his in for a strike. There two. Marte off of first with two away. Got him looking. Third out, and that ends the frame. Guardians leave one. They're down seven. It's nine two. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the eighth. Jonathan India at the plate. Leading off for the and a pitch. The second baseman. Jonathan yeah, India away. Plows it away. India. The 0 1. Ground ball right side. Over to Picked up by the end time. That's one away as the leadoff man is out now in the eighth. The and up next for Chicago, Tristan Casas. One for three. And Tristan Casas. is fouled off. Righty delivers. Pulls it away. Swings through that. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it, but he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. And a swing and a miss. And a couple of quick two. outs. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that number time, a little six. anxious. Ryan. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Good contact guy, good defender. First pitch, Ball not outside. close. And there's a the strike. Well, you know this guy wants to pitch off something that he can hit hard and drive over the wall. But you've got to set your sights down a little bit. You and he swings the miss. And go after a pitch two. that you just can't do anything with. And the righty deals. That one missed. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. And the pitch down. So the drop third time. strike doesn't hurt him. And that's that. Three up, three down for the Cubs. But they still lead it 9 2. <coughs> Welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. So in now for Cleveland. Joe Adele. First off, bring it just misses. It'll be five, six, Adele. and seven. And now two and nothing. So that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. There's a strike three and one. Strike one. Line drive. And that ball's caught. Down. By and now it's Mount Bobby Castle. Bradley. Bobby. How about him, Bobby Bradley? Pitch misses inside. And that's ball one. Next one ball off inside. the plate inside. And it's 2-0. Oh. Next pitch is inside. Three balls, no strikes. And a 3-0 finds the zone. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside on, with good velocity. They're doing that right here. <coughs> For two. Bradley waits. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Just indecisive in that bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. 
Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Here's Andres Jimenez. I would argue the race has been the best play on baseball. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, I didn't like those first two pitches down an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a final stake. strike. Guy that was that ball swan hit the air. Got the two strikes. It, Suzuki's it. there. And ball game. The Cubs have won the World Series. And the Cubs have won it all. Congratulations to the champs. Seven of the World Series, every player on both sides come to the ballpark knowing that this is it. Well, these guys got it done. They've been a special club all year long, and it's fitting they win it all in a special series. Welcome back on the show as we see some of the final moments and reactions in this World Series clinching game. And now let's go down to the field where they're set to present the Commissioner's Trophy to the World Series champs. For Chris Singleton and our outstanding crew, I'm John Chum. This has been the World Series on MLB The Show. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs, nine runs, 11. We have no players retiring. Massive Bumgarner retires. GD Gregorius retires. McCutcher retires. Yeah, now we're starting. Yeah, they yeah, we're gonna name a farm director. I mean, pretty much that's it. But anyway, hope y'all enjoyed. Have a good one, and I'm out. Bye.